In today's video, I will teach you how to change the foreground color in GIMP. Let's get started. Working with the foreground and background color in GIMP is one of the program's most fundamental features and it's a simple ability that all GIMP image editors should be familiar with. You'll be working with the foreground color frequently with a paintbrush and bucket fill tools. And it's pretty simple once you understand how everything works. The toolbox panel, which is by default positioned on the left side of the GIMP interface, serves as the primary hub for all of your GIMP tools. If the toolbox panel is not visible in the editor, you can simply open the Windows menu, click Toolbox, or press the keyboard shortcut Ctrl B. Once the toolbox is visible, you will find the foreground color below every tools. You can change the foreground color once you open the editor and even before uploading your image or making a blank canvas. You can simply hover over the color to figure out which one is the foreground color and the active background layer and you can change them accordingly. You can also make more adjustments and customize your foreground layer once you make a new blank canvas. To do this, Go to the menu bar, open the file menu, and select new or simply press Ctrl N on your keyboard. Once the create new image panel is open, you can change the width and height of your canvas and if you toggle the advanced tools, you will see more parameters for customization. But if you want to customize the foreground color, simply go to the fill with drop down menu and choose the foreground color of your choice. You can also set it as transparent and even set it as a pattern. To see your foreground as a pattern, you have to go back to the editor and go to the upper left side and open the Patterns panel. In case this panel is not visible in your workspace, simply go to the menu bar, Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and select Patterns or simply use the shortcut key shift Control p Now choose the pattern that you would like to fill your foreground with and go to the Create New Image panel once again and set the fill width option as pattern. And simply click OK, and you're done. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.